Patients with the Marfan syndrome, usually the cardiac symptoms predominate the clinical picture. Um, and it's a very rare patient in whom the eye findings are worse than the heart findings or the aortic findings. So I get occasionally asked, should my child participate in sports? Um, usually I leave that decision to the cardiologist. So the cardiologist has said, no, no contact sport, no this, no that. So I'm not the bad guy in this story. Um, but I think wrestling, contact sports, are, really shouldn't be done by patients or, or taking, you know, children with some Marfan syndrome shouldn't take part in it. Or diving in head first into a pool, I think is probably a dangerous activity. So one ought to be a little bit more careful. And if you have an accident, if you get hit into the eye, if something happens, I think these eyes are more fragile and there ought to be special concern afterwards. Certainly once an eye has been operated on, it's a more fragile eye. It's not an eye that heals back to being as solid as an eye on, on a patient who never had surgery. So this ought to be just taken into consideration as well at the time of surgery and initial surgery. So to really uh, predict who's going to get a retinal detachment, you just can't. And patients with the Marfan syndrome ought to be seen annually if they are very high myopes or have a very long globe, maybe every six months for follow-up to make sure the structures are intact and nothing has happened. And above all, patients ought to be informed. They ought to just be able to tell, I see flashes there, something is wrong or something new happened and then be concerned and call the office of the ophthalmologist. They also ought to have an ophthalmologist, not that something all of a sudden happens and then they have to scramble to find a physician. So I think they just belong into care, have put the problem into the physician's hand who teaches them and then be self-aware enough to seek consultation and care when it's indicated. Thank <music> you.